My name is Alan Wilner. I'm a professor at the University of Southern California. My own work is in optical communications, and I was uh, a co-chair on, uh, on the optics and photonics study. One of the interesting parts was that uh, it took many players to actually start the study because you needed to get sponsors uh, across uh, many different uh, areas. So there were many sponsors to the study. Uh, you needed to form, the, of course, the committee uh, and then figure out in this uh, enormous field, optics and photonics, what, are you, what is the study really supposed to uh, do? Who should it talk to? Who should the audience be? And that was, uh, that was a big challenge. And obviously we, can't, we couldn't cover the entire field and so we needed to decide what were some of the areas we wanted to focus on and one of the overarching themes was uh, the impact that optics and photonics plays today in society and what future impact it might have. Optics and photonics enables so many industries, so many markets and applications and so we wanted to really try to cover as much as we could. The, um, we were hoping that we would plant in the study many hooks that people could grab onto later. Uh, the idea that we have grand challenges, we have key recommendations, we have findings, and we have conclusions. And they're all there. Each one of those, uh, and of course just the text of the, of the chapters, there are many statements that are made that would form the basis that somebody could take and then use that either to help gather support for an activity, for funding of something, uh, for a program within a company, whatever it might be. So the hope is, is that the study uh, provides the community with a coherent and also uh, a compelling reason uh, to pursue many of the activities that would be important for the future of optics and photonics. And specifically, we want to, uh, the community has to grab this and run with it. The audience needed to be a broad-based uh, cadre of decision makers. Now, decision makers today, decision makers tomorrow. So we certainly wanted, for uh, the, the audience would, would not be ourselves, really. We're not, we weren't, this wasn't a study to convince ourselves and, and, and you know, shake pom-poms at how great we are. That's not the point. The point was that it was a compelling vision about what can be done by, by the, 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 the nation. So this would include people in the government, decision makers on, on the Hill, uh, so in the legislative branch, and in the executive branch, in the, agent, in the funding agencies. Uh, very much so uh, people who are decision makers within companies. Uh, what kind of, uh, uh, how they should support uh, optics and photonics within their own companies, how they should view optics and photonics within their own companies. So CTOs, CEOs, VPs of engineering, VPs of manufacturing. The study is really meant now to be used by our community and uh, the societies, uh, SPIE amongst others, uh, Play, have been playing an, a, a critical role to get the study going and the role that they will play in the future to disseminate this, to use it as a tool to try to get, get the understanding, the vision, so that people can make proper decisions and, and uh, for policies, to, to have optics and photonics truly pay, play that essential role in our future. So SPIE was critically involved getting the study going, having it, now it's concluded, but taking it and run with it. Uh, and I won't go through the list of names of people, but you know, the, the, the SPIE leadership uh, in all its forms uh, was truly uh, critical in, in the study. And I, you know, we're, uh, you know, I can't thank them enough personally. Uh, very importantly, there's going to have to be a, a, an understanding that industry, academia, and the government need to work together in a, in a strategic way with vision uh, to make this happen, to strategically make decisions to keep optics and photonics at the forefront uh, of, of our nation and being able to, to enable the next generation of advances for our daily lives.